Hey guys, it's Spawn here with Atlacut Games. We are starting a brand new series on this channel. We are going to attempt the Masochist Challenge. As you guys can see, I am on a brand new account. Once I'm on the main screen, I will explain the rules as we are going to differentiate from the original formula. I hope you guys like the content as I will be trying to create new videos on this series at least twice a week. Now let's begin. And we're in. Oh man, that initial setup took a little bit longer than I expected. I completely forgot that you could just skip the original like the tutorials. And here I was playing them. And then I see the skip button on the last one. Alright, so... The rules differentiating from the Masochist Challenge are going to be is that we are going to be using some of these packs that are going to be available to us. Uh, like the secret packs. They pop up once a month. I don't think it's that big of a deal if we decide to open one pack instead of a master pack. Uh, it will have to be on a rank up though. I think we should make it a little bit more challenging to where instead of just obviously going straight to the free pulls, we decide that on a rank up, like let's say we get to silver, then we can go into one of these packs instead of the master packs themselves. But if you guys have never seen the Masochist Challenge, we open enough packs to create a deck. Usually anywhere between five, maybe six master packs. Uh, that depends, obviously, if we get more extra more extra deck uh, cards. I will show right now that I only have the original starting decks. I haven't, I haven't even opened the packs yet. Um, Let's go here into the deck build. Yes, 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 yes. As I said, this is a fresh new account. We are going to be... Uh, see, let's go. Let's actually put this on the order that it's obtained. Okay, it's already actually like that. Good. We are going to be starting from everything... Here, let's start here. From blue eyes down, we are not going to use any of the cards. Now, I do want to use some of the god cards eventually. Um... I'm not gonna do it obviously right off the off the jump because I I mean that's already a win condition no matter the deck as long as I can get the, the tributes necessary for it. I could always get like a god card out if I if we draw it obviously, but I wanna give myself a little bit more leeway so it's not so torturous. You know, I've seen some people actually go through a real experience here. Um But anyways, how about we just get to opening packs? I shut up and we get right into the duels. Alrighty guys, we are going to start with, let's start with five packs, you know, everybody starts with five packs, let's see where five packs takes us, if we see that we need to open an extra pack, you know, because we get some extra deck uh, materials, then it is what it is, right, but we're not going to do ten or anything like that, we'll just start with five, so let's start with our first pack, and knowing my, my luck, we're probably going to get some pretty trash cards. But that's the name of the game. All right, first card, Galaxy Storm. Okay, yeah, that's way too specific right now, especially if we're starting. Oh wow, a Fire Fist card and a Tutor. Not a bad start. Cannot be used as Sigma except for a Fire Monster. When this card destroys a battle and sends to the graveyard, you can. Sp well, if we get any more Fire Fist cards, we at least have some sort of synergy that could happen between the deck, but. We're not going to have a constructed deck. Let's be real. It's the first episode. Right now, we'd be lucky if we have any sort of deck. Oh, see? This is the thing with Master Packs. Is that you can get all kinds of cards. Basically, every card in the game. And uh, it's going to be hard to get anything that might be playable. Okay. Once per turn during the standby, this card's level is increased by 1 to a max of 12. Uh, it's not a terrible, it's not a, t it's actually a very good card. For the simple fact that it will be 2400, if, since it's only six stars, it's a one tribute, 2400. Attack and defense is not bad, and we can increase it during the standby phase, so. This is actually a really good playable card. We're putting this in the deck, no matter what. I mean, we're probably going to put every card we get into the deck, but this is definitely one that I'm excited for. Contact Gate. See, so I'm kind of new to Master Duel and Yu-Gi-Oh! I haven't played in a while, so a lot of these cards, I don't know them, so I'll probably be reading them 
you know, two, three times over and trying to get to see what they are. I don't really know too many of the cards that are in the game, so a lot of this stuff is actually new to me. See, Neo Spatian, that's a, that's a bit too specific. Uh, Beast Warrior Tuner, hey, not bad. Uh, 2,000 defense. Right now, we need anything we can get. Okay, so it can't be Normal Summon. That's bad. Um, yeah. Well, let's hope we can get something that we can Special Summon it with. Okay, that's also bad. And, uh... It's not terrible. I mean, if we get any tuners that we can actually use it with, but I mean, what, well, I can't really ask for too much right now. All right, let's go on to the next pack. We spent too much time already on the first one. Let's keep going. Oh, I don't ever understand what these borders around the packs ever mean. Like, we'll probably not even get a super rare out of this, or or we will. Never mind. A Jurat card. Okay, we got a lot of tuners already. Uh, we're getting a lot of tuners. Wow, that's actually not a bad card. Just for the simple fact that it's removal from the field or it can be removed from the hand. We're playing this card. 100% playing this card. Let's leave the glowing one till the last. Okay, another special summon card. Okay, yeah, cubic. Okay. All right, buddy. We're not we don't have cubic or anything right now. Monster you can control cannot attack the world legacy monster bubble. Okay, you can use the following effects of World Legacy Lance once per turn during damage calculation if a Link Monster battles. All right. I mean, it's 3,000 attack, so it could go up against the Blue Eyes. And it doesn't have, like, a special limit restriction with an 8 counter. Uh, I mean, if we get anything that gets us 8 counters, we might play that. Not terrible. One dark tuner and... One, okay, well, there it is. That's what I'm talking about. Some of these cards are a little specific. Um, a little too specific for our liking. But, I mean, we'll throw them in the extra deck. It is what it is. Oh, wow. This is generic. This is very, very good. I mean, if we can get three monsters on the field, it's good. But, I mean... This is a good card. We can use it. This is playable. What is this? And send it to the graveyard unless it's a flower cardio monster. Oh man. Well, I mean, hopefully we have some sort of cards that activate in the graveyard for us to play something like that. Let's see what this is. A Dark Lord card. Okay. Okay, that's actually not bad, as long as we can discard two other Dark Lords, but I mean again, not generic, very, very specific, but Let's move on to the next pack. Let's hope we get some something playable here. It's not looking so good for us right now, though, I will say. But another SR? Two SRs. Huh. Okay. 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 Yeah, Ying Zhang. Okay. No way. No way. This is an amazing card. This is an out. This is incredible. This is our third pack, I think, our third pack, and we just pulled evenly matched. We have actual removal. F you can't, it can't get better. Okay, well, this is Cybers, but still, you know, we already got at least... This pack alone is worth it just on evenly matched alone. It doesn't even matter about anything else. Oops, I'm sorry. I, I clicked. I'm bad. Well, let's see what we got. A super heavy samurai card. Okay. Background dragon. Oh, wow. We might play this with that one card that... that but see, it's so specific in a 40-card deck to, for that card to discard this one and then you you would control no cards and then summon this. It's very, very specific. It would be hard for us to get it on the field. It would be destroyed, but battle is not destroyed. Wow, an adventure card. Huh. This is a good pull if we can get more of the actual package on itself, but as of right now, you know, as of right now, it's far from what we can actually use. 
Oh, wow. During damage, if your monster battles an opponent's monster, your battling monster's attack becomes that opponent's monster's attack. During that damage calculation only. Also, the control of any monster destroyed by that battle takes damage equal to its original... Okay. Wait, is this only for Addict Nister, though? I don't know. I'm playing this. Regardless, I'm playing this. And if it if it is, we'll just take it out or whatever if we get more packs. And if it works, it works. I mean, we're probably going to be running into a lot, of, a lot of... Hopefully, starter decks, I will say. But, you know, a lot of people like to play meta. I didn't want to start too soon on the series. Because I knew that once the re the ladder resets, we were going to have a lot of meta decks in the lower in the lower bracket. So wanted to give it some time before we started. That way, you know, they could be up there playing with them themselves. <laughs> and uh, we could be over here dealing with some of these self TKs and hopefully some of these starter decks that or decks that break and actually get some some, you know, some W's. Shuffle one. OK, Morphtronic. Um... Probably a little bit too specific. It's not bad. I mean, just for evenly maxed alone, though, it's an amazing pack. That's the best pack I probably am going to get for a long time. Let's open another one. We have gotten a couple, you know, star, uh, extra deck cards. So we're probably going to open six packs. Maybe. We'll see. Down to Wrestler, Marshall, Ampli. I've never seen this card. During your damage, if you control another, which I don't. Okay, you can send this card from your hand or field to a for that battle. Your monster cannot be destroyed by and your damage you take is half. When your opponent monster declares an attack, you can banish this card and add wolf. <laughs> Give me the pancreas hops, please. Ghost trick. Cannot be normal summon unless you control a ghost trick monster. Okay. Well, that's kind of sucks. I doubt we'll get anything like that. A dragon, though. And it's a 1700. Three stars for 1700 damage? Man, this guy's strong. If this card is normal or special summon, you can target and face a monster you control. If it attacks a defense position monster... Okay. Yeah, we're playing this. You can target one... Okay, quick effect. You can target one other face-up monster in the field, change its battle position, then return this card to the hand. Yeah, we're playing this. That's probably the best monster we've gotten so far. Evil Swarm. Okay. We are getting some heavy beaters right now. Th these guys have some some real damage in, in, in them. 1850? 1850? If this face-up card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card, by battle or card effect, and sent to the graveyard, target one special summon level 5 or higher monster in the field. Yeah, we're playing that. Apologize also, guys. I am a little bit sick. Okay, yeah, that, uh, no. But he's going in the extra deck regardless, because I do love this card. Flame Wingman is one of my favorite elemental heroes. Can't play him, but, hey, he could be there. Ancient Warrior. 2,000 defense. We're going to play him regardless. This card is added from the deck to your hand by the effect of Ancient War. We, we're not going to have. When a spell track is activated, you could send one face up Ancient War, continue spell trapping control, which I don't. What, what does this mean? You negate the activation? Wow, okay. Very, very cool if we pull more of these. More of these. This is the only card in your hand. You can normal summon this card without tributing. We're going to play this regardless. I mean... I feel like we're getting some decent cards. You guys let me know. Okay. What is the game trying to tell me? Does it want us to start getting some more elemental hero cards? It's going to be hard with all these these extra deck cards to actually get a full deck. We've been getting a lot of them. All right. Moving on to the next pack. This is the fifth pack. Um, I will probably go check the... That's a guaranteed you are, isn't it? I will go check the deck builder and then, um, see if we've even pulled enough to make a deck. I don't think we have because of the extra deck cards. Man, what is with our luck? Did I did I just, by saying that I don't have good luck and I get really bad pulls, did, is, are they listening to us? Let's see what we get. Tragogia. When you take battles... Have... Oh my god. You can send one monster from your hand to the ground and target one piece of monster with controls with the same level as the monster sent in your hand. Take control of that face. Oh my god. We are playing this. Okay, so they do actually want us to play a little bit of a of a hero deck. Once per turn, you can gain 500 life points for each card in your opponent's hand. We're playing this regardless. I mean, we don't really have a choice. Another 1800 beater, and it's a pendulum. All earth, water, fire, mining. All earth, water, fire, and wind monsters you control gain 200 for every different attribute among the monsters you control. 
which I will tell you, we're going to have a mix max of all of these attributes. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can choose four monsters from your deck. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we're also playing that. That's an amazing card. No way. This is a good card. If we could ever get four monsters on the field. But this is a fantastic card. You can only use each of the following effects of the World Sea Dragon's Zelantis. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm going to be butchering these names. I'm already telling you guys, alright? Once per turn, during your main phase, you can banish all monsters on the field. Does that include itself? I've never seen this card played before. Um... Banish show monsters of field and special summon as many monsters possible that were okay. That's amazing. To their owners' fields face up or in face down position, so we could possibly go for an OTK like this during the battle phase. You could destroy cards on the field to a number of co-linked monsters. Well, we're probably not gonna have any co-linked honestly, but that's an amazing card. Again, we are getting a lot of extra deck and not enough like actual cards. Can only equip to a clee. I've never heard of any of this. It gains student attack and cannot be destroyed by a paddle. That's, I mean, that's cool. It can be treated as two tributes for a tribute summon, okay? Only of that specific archetype, though. So, too generic. Well, not generic. It's way too specific. Earthbound Greater Line Walker. If you control a synchro monster and have synchro monsters in your graveyard, you can special, this car, special summon this card from your hand. During your main phase, you can add one Earthbound Immortal Monster, which... Honestly, never seen this archetype. It looks cool, but... I don't know what this is, okay? Um, let's see what our URs are. We got three in this pack, it looks like. Three level six monsters. Uh, cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can detach one material from this card, special summon from the extra deck. When, then a number between 101 and 107 in its name. Mm, okay, what's the next one? Oh my god. I have seen this card, actually. When your opponent activates a monster effect of the field, negate the activation, and if you do destroy that card, then you can apply the following effect. Banish one monster from your hand, and if you do special summon the monster that was destroyed. Oh, yep. Yep. Okay. This is already going to be a great series, I can tell. Um, We're going to open six packs, because I know we've gotten a lot of extra deck. We'll open six packs, and then we'll go revisit the the, the actual deck build and see what happens. Um, Yeah. So far, it's been amazing. I mean, we got evenly matched. It can't get any worse than that, right? Dragon Nudity Dark Speed. I did it again. I'm so bad. I'm sorry, guys. Well, we're going to go it by card by card anyways. I do see we got a Fire King. Once per turn, you can tribute one Dragon Dragon Nudity Monster to target one level four or lower wing beast monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. Uh, I think we might be able to play this. I don't think we have any Synchros that can do anything with. I mean... But that is playable. Two Beast Warrior and or Wink Beast Creatures. Isn't this a Wink Beast right here? No, it's a dragon. Well, I mean... This looks good. This card gains a ton of attack for each Wink Beast monster on the field. Once per turn, you could target one spell and try on each field to destroy him. We're going to play this. See if we can play it. I'm pretty sure we've gotten some Beast Warriors. I'm not too sure. Special, su special summon one zombie monster from your hand, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can banish this card from your grave and target one zombie monster you control. That zombie monster is unaffected by card effects this turn. Except its own. That's a good card. It's really specific to zombies, but it's a good card. All these extra decks, right? All these extra deck cards is kind of, of a bummer. It's underwhelming because uh, I don't know. I think we've gotten like five or six of them now. I mean, this one seems pretty generic, though. You could target one special monster your opponent controls in face up attack position, banish both that monster and this card from the field, but return him in your next standby phase. Well, I can keep looping this, can I? If this card is in your graveyard, you could target one other Cyphering card in your graveyard, return this card to the extra deck, and if you do that, add that target to your hand. Okay. Well, we don't have any of that. Red Carpet. If a dragon type synchro monster is on the field, target up to. Okay, yeah, we don't have any of that either. Liberal Mancer. You can ritual summon this card with the Liberal Mancer card. We don't have any of that, so we could skip through that. Dimension Splash. Exceed Dimension Splash. If this card is, if this set card is banished, which right there is way too specific, you can special summon two. Okay, yeah, we don't have any of that. And what is this? Mech Lord Astro Dragon Asterisk. Never seen that card, but it looks sick. I mean, 
Cannot be normal summon or set. Must be first be special summon from your hand. Okay, so we can't play that either. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to go into the deck editor right now and uh, see what I can come up with. And then, then see you guys in just a second. Well, I'm here trying to build this deck. And it looks like we might have to open a couple more packs. But the simple fact is, look how many extra deck cards we got. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It looks like ten just from a quick glance. Maybe a little bit more. And there's not enough cards here that we can actually make a real deck out of. So I'm going to save the deck as it is right now. Going to go back, open probably a pack or two. Hopefully we don't get any more extra deck creatures. We're probably going to need to open two more packs and then uh, we'll go from there. It's been, a good, it's been an amazing so far start, but I mean we haven't played with a deck yet. So let me save this and I'll meet you guys back at the at the pack selection. Alrighty, let's uh, start opening some packs. We're gonna open two more and hopefully we don't get any extra deck. I know that sounds crazy, but we don't want any of that. Well, that looks like it might be something. Okay, a Goki, it's terrible. This card's got damage taken was half, and your opponent carries effect of inflict damage to you, even damage you, this card's got damage taken. Okay. It's not terrible. Maybe I spoke a little too soon on that. We don't have any DD monsters. There's no point in having that with us. Chain summoning. Activate is a chain length three or higher, which I don't see that really happen. You can conduct up to three normal summon sets for this turn, not just one. Uh, we'll probably play this, honestly. We need cards in the deck anyways. Infernal Queen Archfiend. Look, she looks cool. Once per turn during your standby phase, you can pay, or you must pay. Wow, this is a cost. This is not optional. 500 life points, or this card is destroyed. When resolving an opponent's card effect that targets this card, roll a six-sided die. And negate that effect if you roll a two or five. And if you do destroy that card, once per turn during the standby phase, target one Archfiend monster in the field. The game's at that. Okay, we don't have any more Archfiends, but... Just another card to put in defense mode, honestly. We need it. Um, a union. Never played with any of these cards. Let's pretend you can try to go another Bylon Mont. Okay, so we're probably going to throw it in the deck, anyways. Another extra deck card. We're going to open one more pack. And of course, I, what did I say? Two insect monsters, too. So out of this, we only have. I mean, we're not, we can't actually play this, but I mean, if we have to, we have to. Six more cards, so we still need one more pack. We've had to open quite a few packs just to get this deck up and running. We've got a lot of good cards, though, so I'm, you're not going to hear me complain about evenly matched whatsoever. If we can get another one, and we can see it in our hand. You know how it usually is when you have a copy of one card, you never see it. During either player's turn, you can activate. Okay, it doesn't matter, he's 1700 beater. If a, we're going to use him regardless, and he looks awesome. If a spell or trap card is activated in this card's column, you can target three magical musket. Okay. Remove a play one instant time monster from your grave and select one monster your opponent controls. Destroy that selected monster. I'm going to see if we have any insects. I think we do. Oh, I know this card. This is from the Buster Blader archetype. You could, Well, yeah, there it is. I mean, you can target one Buster Blader you control, equip this card to stand to your field. Well, this card is equipped to a monster. Monsters in your opponent's graveyard cannot activate. We got a Floodgate. It needs to be a Buster Blader, though, so... Hmm. We'll still play it regardless, because it's a 1200 and we need it. Um, Rescue Ace. The Rescue Ace Fire Attacker. If a Rescue Ace monster is normal, special summon to the field, except, during, except this guy. Uh, I mean... Except during the damage set, you can special summon this card from your hand. If a card is added to your opponent's hand except by drawing it, except during the damage, you could draw two cards and discard one. Okay. We're playing that. Another extra deck card, which this one doesn't seem so bad though because it's two level threes. We have quite a few level threes. Uh, once per turn during either player's turn, you can detach one exceed material from this card and target one face up attack position monster you control. Change it to face up defense position. Okay, that's kind of meh. A galaxy eyes. Uh, you can trip this card special. Okay, so we don't 
and can't use that. We're still gonna see if we can't. Oh wow, look at this. When this card is normal stuff, it's 1800 meters, so we're definitely throwing this anyways. You can excavate the top part of your deck, and if it's a plant type monster, send it to the graveyard. Otherwise, place it to the bottom of your deck. If this card is excavated from the deck, it's set to the graveyard by a card effect. You can choose one Sylvan card from your deck and place it to the. T okay, so we're still playing that. And then adding Nister. Okay, this card is normal or special summon. You can add one before adding Nister monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, that's awesome. All right, so that should be enough. We're gonna call it from there. We had to open eight packs. Hope you guys don't get too mad at me for opening too many of them. Um, I mean, we just didn't have enough cards. I, I looked and looked and I was like, yeah, we're probably gonna have like 32, 33 cards. So we are gonna throw in some of what, we're gonna throw in all of these guys because we need them. I mean, should we throw this in? It is a monster and it's a light. Uh, let's see if we have anything for this. One insect. Do we have any insects whatsoever? Oh, we can't use any of this, so no, we don't. Might as well not throw this in then. Um, we are throwing that in and we'll probably be throwing this in. I mean, anything that we can get we're going to use we don't have that we'll use chain summoning obviously we need that and uh i guess anything else that could go in there would work at this moment we just need to have the deck 40. it's not going to be you know a cohesive construct deck but it'll be something i'm throwing this guy in there because he just thins the oh he's already in there my bad but we does thin out the deck at least a little bit yeah, uh, I'm going to finish up the deck really quick, take a quick glance at anything I might have missed, and uh, we'll get on our way to our first duel. Well, we're on our way to our first duel. It looks like we lost a coin toss, and we're going first. Not a good sign. I mean, it is rookie rank, so I don't expect too much from these guys. Hopefully not a super well-constructed deck, but you never know. We drew evenly matched. That is so great. Um... I think we're going to start slow by just putting one in defense and yeah let's do that we don't really have too much right now probably playing something like a blue eyes or one of the starter decks hopefully hopefully a self tk start the channel off with a start the series off i mean with a with a nice dub of course course it's always some some crazy thing that we're playing obviously they'll be playing this crazy deck yep so normally i would scoop i feel like i want to scoop but i will probably wait see if he does anything and then evenly i mean it's not like i can really do anything to his life points though so his back row doesn't really matter i guess if we have evenly is he going to exceed? What is, what is he going to do? I'm not too familiar with the Galaxy Photon deck. I know that they're like a... Like an OTK deck, which is look like that's what they're going for. I mean, hopefully he does and he leaves us with a sliver of, of you know, life points. And we're able to evenly and come back and greatest comeback in, in, a, in the Masochist series ever. But highly doubt it. Okay, buddy, what are you doing? Galaxy Trance, pay 2,000 line points to target one photon monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Okay. What is that? Can that attack turn into special summon it? He's just like me, We, you know, like all of us. We don't actually read our cards, you know. We just throw, throw them on here and see what they do. I mean, I could... Well, that wouldn't make any sense. 2,000. Um, right. So, we can't really do anything just yet. Let's set up a wall, I would say. And, and try to bait him to use all his resources and then evenly. And hopefully he scoops from that alone. 
But as of right now, we don't have way too many options. This is our only get out, get away free car right now, okay? What is going on? Why is he not committing? I ended up throwing this card inside the, the deck. I know it doesn't do anything, but I don't have, you know, cards really like that. Okay, you can special summon both this card and one of the four lower dragon monster hand defense with banish on the field. Oh, you don't really do anything though. I could wall up more and make it, you know, more annoying for him to have to destroy these cards. I just want him to commit more on the board. I mean, it's not like I have anything I can do myself. Please don't just pass. Please don't just pass. Set up something. Okay. That's a good card. 2,000? 2, 2,000 attack on a, on a token? And you get two of them? That, we need that card. I mean, I don't know. hopefully we pull it, but I don't know if we're going to win this one. Okay, there's this guy. What does he do? You can special summon this card on hand by two monsters. Okay. See, it's a constructed deck. Um... Okay, from your hand or deck. So he's going to take another one of these. But I, I want him to commit to resources. And I actually do want him to start attacking my cards. I don't think... These don't do piercing damage, do they? You could target... Monster banish both this card from the field and the target. Which one banish monsters to the field. Okay. Brings back the wizard. Yeah, the effects are negated, buddy. Um, so, this guy has to be an AI. Oh my god. Alright, so, he obviously isn't reading his cards. I mean, at least we got that going for us. He just committed to the to an exceed. I don't, does this do piercing damage? You can detach him and turn this gains this card to all the combined ranks of all the exceed monsters in the field times 200. This card is... He didn't commit. But I have nothing I can out this with. The Fire Fist guy is cool. We got some Beast Warriors. Um, cannot be used as synchro. When this card is destroyed by battles, it's free for you to special summon once per turn. We can set one fire. We don't have any of that, but I think we're going to. I think we're gonna possibly destroy some of his back row. Is that what this does? It's a link to this card gets for each in the field. Once per turn, you can target one spell on each field. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this, right? Beast Warrior, and that's a Beast Warrior. I mean, we don't, we're not doing anything with our effect, so you can negate us all you want. Probably play that a little too soon. We can commit to this right here. Pop one of these back rows. We are going to take some damage though, because he is going to commit on the next turn to attack. Um, yeah, let's do this one and let's do the right one. Oh wow, not terrible. Um, yeah, that's all we can do right now though. I wish we could obviously out this, but we don't have anything right now that we can't do. Even not e even evenly won't do it for the simple fact that he would just keep this card on the field. So it doesn't do us too much good right now. And he's about to do a whole bunch of damage. 4,000 damage to us. Not fun. Not fun, I will say. Hopefully we get something. But I, I highly doubt we'll draw. I mean, we could keep stalling. It's not a terrible card, but... You could increase this card. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I might want. This card level just increases. So... It's not enough just yet, and there's nothing we can do to keep it from 
actually destroying the card. Okay. What do we do here? I say we just keep our wall right now. I I think we don't have really much of a move we can make. Uh, um, obviously, just got to keep drawing the out. The act, like we literally have to draw the out. Trigodia would be a nice card right now, but you know he is gonna start actually destroying what we have, and we don't have really any monsters we can set right now since they all require at least a tribute. So. We're in a bad spot. We are in a very, very bad spot right now. Hopefully we draw something. That's not a terrible card. Okay, um, so let's hope he doesn't have a card that he can actually do that with, and he is forci forcibly has to destroy that card. That, that would be awesome. If he committed to these are two face downs or another monster, and he just didn't actually go straight into battle. Well, that's at least one card that we got out of his hand. Hopefully we can thin this other one out. And, uh... Okay, so he's gonna special summon something else. Yeah, that's what I thought was actually gonna come out. He's gonna exceed into something else. Please, 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 set this down or whatever it is. If it's a monster, a spell, or a trap, just put this down on the field so that we can use this. This would be a wonderful out right now. Otherwise, destroy that monster to destroy this card. See, this is good until obviously they have cards in their hand, but we still have evenly, so we're not in a in a terrible spot. He's gonna have to get rid of one of these two, and he's gonna keep number sixty-two no matter what. I mean, come on, why would he get rid of you know the photon dragon? Or the, or the prime prime photon. So this what? Brings another one, adds it to his hand. Okay. Great. Great. Well. He's just gonna discard the card anyway, so. Yeah. Negated the effect. That's kind of sucks. Um, actually, why not? We're dead anyways, right? Like next turn, if we don't even draw anything, we can set. I mean, we might as well commit to something. So we still have this monster here on this field. How how do we out this other than with the Trigodia? Like, man. So there's really nothing we can do. We're taking our first L. Which is kind of, you know, the entire gist of the series. This is why it's the Masochist Challenge. But sucks, man. We drew evenly and we still couldn't get it out. Oh, well. Let's go on to the next one. Th this is how it's going to be. This is why I wanted to give it some time, like I said. I didn't want to just rush in straight to it. Because I knew that there was going to be some decently constructed decks that were going to be in the lower brackets of, you know... We're going second. I think this, this the strategy should be going second no matter what. Um, the battle phase is so important for us, especially since we have the the very you know trash terrible deck. So that's a good card. That is a good card. Um, doesn't look like a too bad of a hand. I don't know what we'll set. This is a pretty much a dead card, but. We'll see. He only has six cards in his extra deck. Let's hope it's something that's pretty easy to beat. I would like to get one of these, like, bigger extra deck creatures. That's a good sign right there. That's what we want to see. You know? Stuff like this all day long. It's probably going to be the, the, the stone, though. The white stone. Of ancient. Um, it is what it is, though. I mean... Okay, so we can't really do anything with this. Um, 
Let's see, will he activate his back row if we activate this and he thinks, okay, so he's not. Um, well, we can either use a thousand beater or a 900. I think we should commit or should we? I should have probably not set it up on the same row. That's a mistake right there. Hmm. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play it out like this. We're just gonna wait. I don't think it's smart to attack, and then that's a stone right there. And now we have to deal with the blue eyes. And since it's a vanilla monster, it doesn't really have an effect. Um. Oh yeah, I do have to pay this, don't I? Okay. Oh, that's incredible. I actually didn't think that it could target itself. That's This is an incredible card. Look at that back row. And we have nothing we can really, like, do with it just yet. Um... Yeah, I don't know which effect is which, though. The, it's kind of... Okay, let's just do this. I think we have to activate both of them. Because we have to... Once we're turned during your standby phase, we have to. It's mandatory. So we're going to take 500 damage. But it's a 1900 beater right now. Um, going to set ourselves a little bit of a defensive wall, too. We're going to go for it. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if it's a stone anymore. What the hell is that? Komodo dragon. Isn't this the thing that can actually summon the blue eyes? Why well, wasn't able to? You're supposed to summon one dragon type. He doesn't he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Okay. What does he got? Evenly matched or something? What, what just happened? Or, or does he actually have it and he's about to use it? Okay. Uh alright, well. Hopefully he doesn't. I don't I don't know. 1900 damage though on this card is sick. And it doesn't, it's not 500, it's only on our standby phase, so. This is a good card. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, this is a very good card. And we also have the, the Utop Utopian Aura. Okay, T in the attack position. Very odd. Maybe he just drew the blue eyes? I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Because, like, it's, it has to be on the field. Well, for now, we're just going to keep this card at 1900. Um, we'll see what happens. I mean, there's not much we can do right now. He's got quite a decent back row. I don't want to overly commit with, like, monster. Well, I mean, I can't even summon that many monsters right now, so. We do kind of have an out. See, this has got to be a chain link three. So maybe I can wait until he does some stuff with his back row. And then... See, this is for just this turn, though. Not for, like, my turn and all that stuff. Well, you know, if he were to activate it during his turn, it wouldn't actually do us any good. Because we, we're not going to be able to normal summon anyways. And right now, we kind of can't. What does he have? Right now, we're doing more damage to ourselves than he's doing to us. We don't really have a way to... Okay, so it, they can attack this one, but I don't know if I want to commit to a summon. I can't normal summon this. Apply that target effect and shovel that target into the deck. You can only... Okay. So, I don't know if I want to do that. Let's do something like this. Right, we're gonna play it safe. I mean, we don't have card advantage. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that is good. He picked the wrong card. I really thought we were about to lose our Utopian Aura, and now he has to discard, right? Oh, he okay, no, he has to set one spell or trap. See, the back row is not good, though, for us right now. I mean, if it is a blue eyes, it is what it is. I probably shouldn't have set anything until the next turn. What is this? Don't you 
Make the battle gym you take zero, and if you do, draw one card. Okay. This is a uh, this is an interesting duel. Um, I might as well set this card. Like, it doesn't do us any good right now in our hand. I don't want to flip this just yet, though. It's two thousand defense. But I mean, next turn though, we will be start putting him on some sort of clock. Like, he he has to have something that he can commit to. He can't just get a blue eyes out, anyways. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. It's a blue eyes deck, so let's put some more pressure on our opponent here. You know, make him start committing to some of his resources and some of his cards if he has anything. You know, we got, we want to put him on some sort of clock. Twenty nine hundred damage. He's gonna have to start taking it slightly serious. Okay. Well, we could tribute for this this giant beater. And it's not a terrible, terrible idea. I wish we had more like a one tribute like we had the last game. That way we wouldn't have to commit so much of our resources. Because we don't really have many monsters we could put on there. It's not terrible. That's actually pretty good. Um, like, what if he has, though, like magic cylinders or something, you know? Do we commit to 3,000 days? We are going to commit, man. I I'm not going to play it super duper safe. I kind of want to start putting him on the clock. 4,900 damage is pretty insane right now. Well, I mean, it's going to be 1,900. If he has a blue eyes, it is what it is. At least we have this card right now in our on the field. This would be the time to do it. He doesn't have anything right now. Okay. It's time, it's, it's, it's time to put real pressure on him. We're going to start putting him on his back foot. I mean, he's on his back foot right now. He's got two cards. Obviously, one of them is not anything you can do with it. Okay, we do have to give ourselves this this a thousand damage, a thousand attack. I mean, you know, on a card. Um, okay, two thousand. This card attacked. It has changed the defensive position at the end of the damage step. So he's going to attack our monster. But we know he doesn't have anything. I think it would be smart to uh, to use the Utopian Aura. Because he has to... Is this not during the damage step? Oh, I don't have it on... I have to change his toggle in the next duel. For now, we'll leave it as it is, but... That's not a bad card. Um, you know, I, I'm going to put it in attack mode. Uh, some sort of damage is better than nothing, right? Actually, while we're doing that, let's change this to... I think it's hold one, right? Yes, it is. Okay, good. We, we need that. I mean, right there is, is a slight overlook on... On everything. Um, next turn, though, he's 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 gonna be a little bit. Well, he's not gonna be super screwed if he gets a monster. He can like you know, and set in defense or anything, or anything that can really attack over this guy. I mean, he's only got 500 attack anyways. If he has a monster with an effect, though, that's our first win. That's our first win. Incredible, right there. Incredible. We get to go buy a pack. So we're one for one right now. That's that's good for me. Okay, so as I said, we are gonna de uh, deviate from the original rules a little bit. We are gonna do the the uh, proficiency test as well, and whatever rewards we get from the proficiency test, we are going to actually use. So let's go ahead and clear this condition. What, what's going on here? Currently in the academic. Okay, so let's go actually do that here really quick. All right, two out of three. This is the, the first level, so it's gonna be super easy. Come on now, come on, man. Easy, give me the next one. This is a zombie. We've already passed it. Uh, we, could, we could literally get this wrong now. This is Foolish Burial. Easy peasy. Yes, sir. Give me my rewards. What do we got? I actually did not even check what legacy... If we got any legacy tickets. I was so excited with the... Uh, well, we get five here anyways. But I was so excited with the, just the fact that we even won a duel. 
see this is the great thing about the masochist series uh the, or the masochist challenge is that every duel feels so substantial and when you win you actually just you just overfilled with joy i mean it's it's incredible um so we will be buying accessories i mean that's a given you know we can't really spend our gems any other way so i think when we rank up towards later we'll be buying a mate and a field oh they're not on sale anymore bummer bummer well it is what it is when do our pack expires uh okay so we have some time to use that i want to get as many ranks as possible before we oops before we actually commit to using some of these uh these these free pulls and all that stuff you know we got 30 days to to rank up i don't i don't i, I want to pull them because it's like they, they don't come in that often obviously you know and it doesn't really make a difference you know we're probably gonna pull bad cards anyway so let's go ahead and pull from this pack and see what we get wow we've been getting a lot of flashy cards oh no i do this all the time i'm so bad okay well we'll go through the cards um we obviously can't do anything with a lot of these ritual cards. You could target one Utopia Rain monster, could discard from your hand. We're using this. It's a 1900 beater. We have to use this. I mean, we have way worse cards than this. We don't have Black Luster Ritual. With any Necroz Ritual spell. Okay. Without using any level 10 monsters. He's a really cool looking guy, but... I mean, we can't actually use him. We're going to use this. 1500? I know we have worse cards than this. This card is not treated as an arm dragon. Okay. You can special this coming from your hand by sending one little eight or high monster from your hand to the graveyard. If you tribute this if you tribute this card for tribute seven of that monster cannot be destroyed by card effects. That's a great card, honestly. Because we do have uh, some level sevens that we can use. Raid Raptor Wild Vulture. During your main phase, if this card is normal special summon this turn, you can tribute this card special summon to Raid Raptor Monster. Okay, so we don't actually have. He's a winged beast. We might play him. I know we have some sort of synergy with that. When your opponent special summons a monster, activate this card by targeting one of those special monsters in attack position with less attack than in. So we don't have any evil eyes, but this is a good card that we can at least keep on the back burner for when we need it. Elemental training. Your opponent cannot target Palace of the Elemental. Oh, we don't have this. Okay, yeah. So that's not a good card we can use. And Destiny Hero Dreadmaster. A lot of hero cards, right? If this card is special summoned by Clock Tower Prison, which we don't have, destroy all monsters your opponent controls except Destiny Hero Monsters. Also, after that, you can special summon up to two Destiny Hero Monsters from your graveyard. We won't be doing that anytime soon. After this card is special summon for the rest of this turn, Destiny Hero Control cannot be destroyed. Okay, also you take no battle damage when they battle. Are equal to the combined attack of all the Destiny Hero Monsters you control. We can't use any of this. Uh, we got at least a 1900 beater, so it's still a good pack no matter what. We'll probably end up throwing, honestly, these two cards. No, no, we're definitely going to throw the Armed Dragon. So maybe these three cards. This one is still up in the air, but let's go check our Legacy tickets. It is what it is. I mean, not every pack can be heat, right? So it looks like we have eight. And you, I guess we got the five and then three from the last win. I can't obviously open like one for one or anything like that. So we're just going to open them all. Eight on the first start is not bad, though. I am already loving this run. All right, let's see what we get. Number 66. Two level four dark monsters. This is a very easy, I think summonable card you can de detach when exceed mature from this card and target one card you control except this card this first piece of sure that card cannot be destroyed by card effects one of its charges to agree instead that's kind of cool it's if anything it's a 2500 beater which would be pretty easy to get out chain material anytime you fusion so okay all right buddy fusion summon what is that <laughs> we're not getting that not this guy man he always gives back cards when he shows up we'll open this one second no way we have removal we have two spots of removal now. we've got a few of them but this is at least another one like evenly matched so we are definitely putting this in the deck smashing ground insane of a pull victoria what is victoria it's a fairy it's an 1800 fairy it looks super cool once per turn you can target one dragon type monster in your opponent's graveyard 
which if we're going to play a lot of blue eyes, I guarantee. Special set my net target to your side of the field. Your opponent cannot target face up here. Okay. You're going in the deck, buddy. I, I will take back what I said about the, the, the guy who shows up, who slashes the pack. I love you, buddy. Please keep showing up. Yeah, that's a great card. When a spell is activated that targets this face down card and no other cards, quick effect, change this face up. Face up defense position. Blah, blah, blah. Change this card to face up defense position if you do negate the activation. Yeah, he's going in the deck. He's 2600. He's going to be hard to come by. Okay, I just said nothing. something about fusions and we get this guy, you know. The, the, the like, cards it fuses with doesn't make any sense on why it comes out looking like that. But what can I complain about, you know? We just got smashing ground. All right. Um, oh, fish. When an effect monster effect activates, shuffle one of your banished fish. Okay. Maybe. That's a good card. Hmm. Uh, Mario, Mario Kutai. During your opponent's turn, when your opponent activates a spell card, you can tribute this card and negate the active evasion if you do destroy it. We have worse cards. We, we have a lot of removal, it looks like. So we're probably going to put him in somewhere in the deck. Probably take out something. I know we have some cards that make no sets. If you control no monsters that were special summoned from the extra, extra deck, target one face-up monster your opponent controls that was special to summon from the extra. Take control of it. Yeah, you're going in the deck, buddy. You're going in the deck. Oath of Companionship, you are my guy. Fushi Notori. Another Winged Beast. This card cannot be special summoned. This card returns to the owner's hand during the end phase of this turn that this is normal summon to flip face up. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, increase the life points by... Okay. We're probably going to play you for the simple fact that you are a Winged Beast. You're a spirit too. I've never seen this card. Um, like I said, I'm not familiar with a lot of these these cards here. but Or most cards in general in this game. Uh, but still though. Looks good. Alright. Usually that means we got like a SR, right? Yeah, you suck. Bron bon Bonze alone. Cannot be normal or special summon if you control a monster. You can special summon this card from your hand and attack. What? If you so you put him first, if a monster if another monster is summoned to your field while you control it, this card is terrible. Oh I, I should just dismantle him on principle how bad he is. Just terrible. Gatekeeper. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. You'll stay here forever. The first sarcophagus. Once per turn, your opponent's going to place one second sarcophagus. And on active, then the third. Okay, so we don't have any of that. So on to the next pack. Oh, last pack. Oh, we got Smashing Ground, so I can't really complain too much. Contract with the Dark Master. This card can be used to ritual summon Dark Master Zork. Okay, that's cool. Sword of the Deep Seated. This is an equip. This equip monster gains 500 attack defense. So this card is sent to the graveyard place in the top. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're going to play that. I mean, we need anything we can get. Smashing Ground is incredible, as is Victoria. Well, actually, these first three cards and Smashing Ground is great. Uh, we are going to be peeling the sword because we can at least utilize some equip spells, you know? All right, well, that was great. Let's get back to the deck build. All right, guys, I'm back. We have made a couple changes to the deck. Um, we took out some of the, you know, the really trash cards out of here. We put some of the newer ones. I did see that we don't really have any level four darks. I thought this was a level four dark. It's actually a fire. Um, that's a level five. Let's see, I think I saw one of them here. That's a three, three. So it looks like we might only have one level four dark. Wow. So we can't actually use this card just yet. Um, we're going to keep it in here anyways. I, I, I did look. I did take a second look to see if we had anything. I, I, I don't think we do. I'll take one last look. You know, you never know. You you could always overlook some. Obviously, it has to be a card that we own. Oh, we do with the Pendulum. Huh. We can't use any of these guys, but the Pendulum. Okay. I did, I, I used, you, you did guys to see me pull a Smashing Ground. Even though it says three, you know, I got one. It's mine. I'm definitely going to use it. So, our deck is looking better. A lot better. Um, we did win our first duel, so... How about we go get to the next one?
All right, our opponent chose to go first. Um, they do have the new mate. Kind of scares me because you never know. You might be playing some sort of deck. Please don't be Sky Striker. You've got a fully committed extra deck. It might be Sky Striker at this point. We'll see. Okay, that doesn't look good. Goes in match. What was that? Goes in match. Ancient organism. No! Don't be stunned. At this bracket? Doesn't surprise me. Okay. Well, that just destroyed a lot of good cards out of our hand. I hope he doesn't have anything. He just ends. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was going to be stun. Cannot be normal as far as if you control a monster. New player can activate monster effects. Well, we can actually, I think, beat over this card. We can. And I'm probably going to just because I don't like his face. Um, yeah, you know what? Sure thing, buddy. What does this do? If he destroys this card, I'm going to cry. Oh, that's not too bad. The Hugin, right? Doesn't the Hugin bring the, the fountain? Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, that's not good. At least... Wow. Well, that's a crazy card to discard. But I guess he gets his field spell. I don't really have anything to out it with, so... I'm, I'm gonna commit to the attack. I, I think I can attack, um... The Inspector, right? Or do I have to attack the Hugin? Okay, so we got that out of the way. Um, well, okay, so the destroy the battle is oh oh we can actually we have some sort of like synergy with this. Incredible! All right, well, twenty four hundred on the field right now. I mean, we could get this out. That's a level 8, though. I think we have a level 7, don't we? I don't think we can get him out. Yeah, because he needs some sort of non clear wing type monster. Okay. Negate its effects. Then banish a 3. Okay, so this is going to be not a fun a fun duel, like, whatsoever. He, he's actually thinning out my deck quite a bit. I wish I would have had any of these cards right now. You do suck for playing stun this at this bracket. You know, uh, you're not you're not allowing me to have any fun. I guess that's the entire aspect of it. But I hope, buddy, you uh you some you choose a different deck next time. You know, um, well, I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna commit to an attack. I don't know what this is on this side over here. Can I actually? Well, I don't want to use that. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna lose my equip spell right now. I'm actually just gonna. I should have committed with the other one. I wasn't even thinking when I attacked, honestly. Return this card to the extra deck. I hope he doesn't draw anything, anything good, because this would be just poetic to destroy, stun with the masochist deck. Like, this would be just amazing for me. I would I would be absolutely be uplifted and overjoyed if I could just get this guy out of here and he does he just has dead draws for the next two three turns because we're putting him on a clock now please just pass have something you can't even do anything with and pass all right buddy um yeah yeah why not right the ghost trick guy is that what we can summon I put that card in there for this reason I think it goes into defense mode after whatever. I think that's the whole trick with these ghost tricks. Yeah, once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense. Equal to the combine. Okay, so we can't do anything with that. That's an incredible pull. Um, that's an incredible pull. <sighs> what could that be? I can commit and try pushing through. Okay, you know what? We are going to give ourselves some sort of protection. Even if we somehow run into, like, a mirror force. At least we'll be completely unaffected. What is this? Is this Synchro Zone? Was set with Synchro Monsters? Buddy. You kind of suck. I, I will say that. You kind of suck. Um... 
Neither player can declare attack except for synchro monsters. You can only use the once per turn if a non synchro monster sent to your grave sent to your graveyard. You can treat as a tuner during your percentage card. Okay. Well, you know what? We're gonna have to do this. It sucks that we have to do this, but I mean, what other what other choice do we have, right? Destroy the our, our on a, you know our protection, our faithful adventure. We have to. We get to add this back to the top of our deck. It's really the only way we actually have to be able to destroy this. And if we can't attack, then we can't win. I would love to destroy his field spell, but I kind of can't. I can't commit to not being able to attack. They do have me by the, you know. Unfortunate as it is, they do have me uh, limited to that. Oh, come on. Well, that's not good. Um... So how can I actually summon summon a synchro monster? One tuner plus one non-tuner. Well, that's what I had though. That's what I thought. Wasn't it level seven? It was four and four. Okay. Um. Well, what do we do here? Well, I don't think we can do much. I have an idea, maybe. Oh, we can't use this effect anyways. This is such a... It's such a terrible card, honestly. Like... If he didn't have skill drain, this would not be as bad, but... The simple fact he does, he has locked us down and we can't actually proceed. We can't actually do anything with the duel right now. We're, we're pretty much in a standstill. Uh, that was a good play, I think, by getting this guy out here, the Daruma doll, but... Uh, what can we do? Probably going to next time the monster will be destroyed. Okay. So he's just going to try to deck us out, and at this point it looks like he might be able to do it. He's gonna be playing it like this. It's a terrible way to actually lose the duel, honestly. The fact that he's skill drain us and he's also synchro zoned us. He's gonna destroy a card. Okay, destroy it, then banish it. Yeah, see. I don't think he can do that, right? Or is that. It, he can? Okay, never mind. He's obviously way better than we are. And that was, I think, a tuner we just lost to. Do we scoop? I don't know. I, I don't want to. I, I feel like we still have something we could come back with, but... I'd be lying if I said it wasn't... It's not fun. Okay, so he can't attack either, but... What difference does it make? We gotta draw a level 3 tuner. Am I Yugi? Am I actually Yugi? Target one, okay. He's probably going to. Wow, I am down to 15 cards. He has banished so many of my cards. But I am gonna go into a synchro right now. The only thing is, is that... He's actually gonna be able to do some stuff. I, the fact that we can even do this, though, is, is incredible, you know? Um... Since these are quick plays, this, he could just activate and he's gonna destroy this guy anyways. Um, I'm gonna destroy the, the Gary, or whatever this is, the, the Frecky. Next turn though, he does destroy it. Fortunate, you can target one runic spawn, add it to your hand, okay. Well, I wish we could do more, honestly. It sucks that we can't. When your opponent controls and face to banish both this card and the field, but see if we didn't have that, we could we could dodge all of these uh, 
these quick plays, but stun is so boring. Like, why are you playing stun at this bracket? Let's see what he does. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to destroy our card right now. Yeah, yeah, give me a thousand life points. I mean, it doesn't really make much of a difference. He's gonna he's gonna deck me out before he does. He's got a lot more cards in his uh in his deck left, and he's about to yep. Uh, smashing ground would have been nice. Um, would have allowed me to at least been able to get a hit in, destroy it, and banish the top two. Yeah, okay. All right, buddy, you got this. I'm just gonna scoop to you because it's just not not we're not gonna win. I mean. It's clear as day to see that we almost had him, but it is what it is. Let's just go on to the next one. We can't be too disheartened, though. We did pull up some good packs, and stun is a challenge for anybody, really. You just kind of have to draw that out, and we don't really have any outs. At, at least not in terms of, like... Removal, obviously, like back row removal when he's banishing over 50 60 percent of our deck, and we can only attack with synchro monsters. This is a good hand. All right, let's forget about the last duel, let's go right into this one. This is a good hand, we're at least got smashing ground. Um, he doesn't have a huge extra deck, so he might be playing one of the starter decks. I don't know, hopefully, he is. We do have way too much of uh, these, like, two tribute cards, and we only have this one. Like, from your deck to your hand, do we? I think we have, I think we do have actually something. I don't know if we'll be able to special summon anything like that, but Smashing Ground is in our hand, so that's nice. If he summons something crazy, well, we're just going to destroy it. One monster, and that's all you have? Well, there goes your blue eyes, buddy. Which I expect them to be playing something like the star decks. Make your move. Okay. Okay. I'm going to click on this little rabbit. Okay, one face down. That's not bad. That's a good start for us. This has to be face up, right? Yeah, it does. It made sense. I mean, it's based on their defense. I don't know why I would think it wouldn't be their, their face up. All right, one back row. Okay, okay, you set one spell or trap. Let's see. It's not a terrible start for either one of us. You know, we're at a simplified state right now, so... I think I want to summon the Minerva. Yeah, I want to summon the Minerva. See if we have any sort of play with it. We don't. We're so bad. I mean, we are. So we're just going to go straight to attack. Yeah, we deserve that. Well, that's a... Uh... That sucks, because he can hit us with piercing. Oh, did I go main phase too? I'm sorry. I thought I ended my turn. Yeah, well, I will have to, so... Well, that's incredibly bad. Do I have to do that during the end send the... Yeah, I do. Dang. Well, it is what it is. I mean... Like I said, we don't read cards here, so... He's probably gonna start summoning some crazy stuff. He has 1,500 right now on the field alone. Maybe we should play it a little bit more defensively next time. We'll see. I mean, right now it doesn't really matter. I'm. It's still early in the game. I don't think we. Either one of us have any sort of. Well, that right there. Huh? Doesn't he have to destroy his own card? What? Why would he do that? Just, just to inflict. 500 to himself? Oh no. Okay, so he does now have us on a clock. Luckily, we have a, sort, a pretty high 
highly defense. You know, this would have been nice. Gardner would have been nice right now, but we don't really have, you know, the option there. We lost our biggest beater in the deck, too. But we got Smashing Ground, so he's going to tribute for the Blue Eyes. I want him to bring out the Blue Eyes before I commit to using Smashing Ground. Okay. All right, buddy. Let me go. What is this? Cannot be normal. Must be special summon by sending two cubic monsters. See, this is this is what I'm saying. We can't even play this. I'm probably going to take this out in the next one. Yeah, and the next time I, I go and edit this deck, I think I'm taking that out for literally anything. It doesn't matter what it is. As long as it can be summoned on the field is all that matters. We don't have any cubic whatsoever. We haven't pulled any, so... What does this idiot do for us, you know? Nothing. Like, what is he good for? Absolutely nothing, so... It is what it is. Okay, um... That sucks. I hope he gives it to, to Lord of D. I would love for you to give it to Lord of D. Oh my god. Thank you so much. I, you can't destroy it, and it's incredible that he, that he did that play. Please attack. So right now he can't actually do anything with the, any of the... Well, I don't know. He could actually do something with this. Dark fusion monster from his deck. I hope he fuses with all of what's on the field right now. And then I can just have him to nothing. Well, that's not good. That is not good. Because we don't have a summonable monster right now. King Dragoon. What's this guy do? Your opponent cannot target dragon monsters with card effects. Wow. Please attack with the 1500. It, it writes itself. It, it really does. He's going to destroy the card though with this dragon guy. Can't target dragon monsters with card effects. So that includes this. Like, that's really broken, man. Like, considering we lost our 2600 beater uh, defensive creature right now, like. We don't really have anything. I'm, I'm gonna try activating Smashing Ground. See what happens. I don't think nothing happens. Okay, well. <sighs> we can survive another turn. I say turn because he's probably gonna draw a monster. And then he's gonna hit through, you know, through our 5100. So this doesn't look good for us whatsoever. This is not looking good. This is actually looking very bad, but we'll see what happens. Oh, man. I shouldn't have summoned that card. I feel like I just misplayed and, and, and kind of put myself in this hole because I was going to draw. You know, obviously, I wouldn't have known that I would draw the, the Gardener, but what is he? Now he's got the blue eyes. If it does have the blue eyes, then we are 100% dead. Because he could just special summon, right? Any dragon. Yeah, any dragon monster from his hand. So that's 4,400. That sucks. I, I, I blame this guy, this idiot right here. I mean... He can't even... He's not even a card, really. He's he's just a placeholder in the deck. So he's gone. 100% gone after this duel. I'm taking him out. Oh, man. If I would have just played it controlled, more controlled than just waited it out and actually read my cards, I could have had a level 7 right now, and then we would have had a, a Synchro, and it, it would be very juicy. But instead... We are in this predicament where we're dead, and we are dead. So that's pretty much it. I blame you, you blaze cubic idiot. Okay, so it is what it is. I mean, this is why it's a massacre. Oops. This is why it's a massacre challenge, right? All right. We are taking him out. He has to go. He is so bad. Where are you? You are gone. Anything is better than you. Um, yeah, you're way better than him. Um, I think that would be it. Yeah, that's it for now. Let's go back into it. Let's see what happens. You know, hopefully we win the coin toss and go second. Or... Or whatever, you know. We might be going first. I, 
I had to sneeze there. My bad, guys. The mic's a little bit too close for me to, to sneeze right on you guys, too. Like I said, I'm a little bit sick, but uh, we're pushing through. We're doing the masochist challenge while we're also feeling like we're going through it. Um, Yeah, Uh, why not, right? Why not? We at least get some sort of removal and... Let's bait him with this. If he destroys, he destroys. He almost got five cards in there, so we'll bait him and then we'll see what happens. See what he what he plays. This initial guy. That's our initial turn. Our initial move. Dark magician, come on, man. Come on. It's not looking good already. Okay. Well, all he needs, that's probably a turn of soul right there. And at that point, you know, we're as good as dead. But we won't, we won't, we'll keep playing it out. I think it's a little too early for us to be going up against these type of decks. But what does this do? Is this normal special summon? When did it, when did it turn? You control. Okay, so can't do anything with that um I i'm gonna start putting some pressure on him like i want to leave this face down so for his next turn uh less than equal to left hand destroy that and inflict damage to me oh we both take it should i flip this and attack he doesn't have eternal soul i think i should honestly What does this do? Uh, if, a, if a card is added to your opponent's hand, except by drawing it, except during, you could draw two cards and discard one. Okay. Is it? Is this have to be on the field for this to do? For this to activate? Well, it is one tribute, so let's hope that we can get him out on the field next turn. Um. Well, not really next turn, because we do kind of want him to attack into our Jurat card into our baby baby dinosaur he's probably gonna add the eternal soul at this point like no he's not dark magic attack what is that dark burning magic so he's gonna have to discard a card or allow it to be destroyed the magician's rod i don't know i don't know which one he's gonna pick he can negate it if you just discard something buddy okay Discard something or destroy the monster and let me attack. What? What is this? The Magician of Chaos. Okay. That's cool. Well, does that do anything? No. It doesn't look like it does. Cool. Well, right now we're at a simplified state where we still have slightly a chance. Even if it's ever so slightly. That's actual good card that we can use this with because we're going to do that we're, we're actually going to special summon so i think this is a good play i might be tripping but i think this is a good play you know 2200 it's going to be kind of hard to get over him at least with anything he might have and we put him on some sort of uh i mean we could have potentially summon that and done 3,000 damage and that probably would have been a little bit of a better move in the next turn come with this because we had a special summon that could actually be affected um control is unaffected by card effects this turn only though okay so that's not comforting for me you know he's got so much so much on, the, on as a back row now and it scares me to see that. It, it really does. That's... That's awesome. This is only a spell card, but regardless, if he uses the dark magical circle, I'm destroying this. So, we are going for it right now. Is this any time? During your opponent's turn. Oh, gosh. Well, 
all I care about is the dark magical circle. I think this is the one, right? You can banish it. Yeah, if he does that, man, I'm I'm negating and destroying this circle 100%. Please bring it out so I can actually do something with it. The fact that we drew this is so awesome. Another dark magical circle. Um What do we do here? Because he could still use this, right? I don't know if we should negate this or not. I I'm thinking we should. Tribute it and negate this card. This way, he if he doesn't have anything already in the hand, we have a quite a good outlook of what we beat dark magician guys that's an incredible victory right there i'm gonna go look at his deck and see if he was you know not just like a single starter deck type of no we can't be because he had two circles we just hit bronze five. Oh my god that was incredible that card literally came clutch for us in the most perfect time that's some mc like Character energy right there, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see what his deck looked like. Oh, no. All right. Um. Well, he had two of them, and we destroyed one. So, he didn't have, like, the best Dark Magician deck. He could obviously build it better, but... It looks like he did just buy, like, one of the structured decks. I don't know. I've never actually bought the Dark Magician structured deck, but it doesn't matter. We, we got a Master Pack, so... Let's go open our pack and uh, see what we get. Oh, I think we also got one legacy ticket. Uh, I'd have to go check really quick, but obviously it's so exciting every single time you get a pack because you never know what you're going to get. It, it doesn't even matter, honestly. We have some terrible cards right now that we can interchange with right now. So, okay. Epless on the Magnet Warrior. And this card, we can send one. Okay, we don't have any more Magnet Warrior from the deck. This card name becomes a sent monster theme until then. You can special summon one from your graveyard with a different theme. Okay, that would be cool if we get any more of them. Gradle Combat. When a spell trap or monster effect, charge exactly one Gradle monster. Okay, we don't control any of this, so this is actually not a usable card. Shino Bird Crane. It's a, another Winged Beast. We have a lot of these Winged Beast well, spirits now, too. Cannot be special summoned once per turn if another spirit monster is normal. Special summon with this monster in the field. You can draw one card once per turn during the end phase if this card was normal summoned or flipped based up this turn. Return it to the hand. Uh, Not good. Mutant Clash. We don't have any mutants. Card looks so cool, but I mean, practically useless. A Fluffle. This card sent to graveyard is fusion material. We don't have really any fusions or polymerizations. Dark Lord. Another Dark Lord, though. But this one we can actually use more because it's a single tribute. If this card is special summoned from the graveyard, it gains this effect. If this is a card attacks... Okay, this is not a bad card. Um, I'll see. I know we have some trash cards, but we have... I don't want to put too many tribute cards, and then I just draw a handful of tributes and can't do jack shit with them. Uh, you control equip this monster to your hand and feel the target. It gains a thousand defense. It's not terrible. During the battle phase, when your opponent activates a card effect, while you control defense pitch, just hits random master. You can banish this card from your graveyard and negate the activation if you do destroy it. Then destroy as many monsters in the field as possible. Minimum one, and if you do, both players takes one. That's not a terrible card. Uh, for all sense and purpose, it is, but it's not for us. What the hell is this? Target one, that, okay. That's cool that its attack becomes 3,000, but we don't have anything we can do with it, so... Not the greatest pack. Um, kind of a bummer, honestly. Hopefully the legacy pack holds something a little bit better. Um, only one, so. What can we actually get out of two cards? Hopefully back to square one. That would be super clutch to have something like that. Last time I, I made fun of you, buddy, for taking my cards. Hopefully today you give me a back to square one. Ga 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 draw. Okay, we don't have any of that, so. If anything, it's 1800. We're gonna put him in a deck. So Great Angus is the best card we probably got in these in these uh in these openings. So I mean, let's go back to the deck and then see what we would come up with. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I ended up taking out the 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 Goki card because it didn't really come up, and I put Great Angus in his place, and I took out the one 
card that needed to be special summoned here. Um, still getting familiar with the deck itself, so I don't actually know the name of the card. But I saw it and I was like, yeah, you don't benefit or do anything for us, this one. The Life's One Archer can't be normal summon. Must be special summon by card effect. I don't even know if I can even get that out in any way. So instantly was like, yeah, you're gone. You know, you're done. So took him out or took her out for... Um, for some of the super heavy samurai stuff, I put two of them in and I took out the background dragon so that I can have another Dark Lord. Even though I don't know if we can get these guys out, I mean, one tribute for 2300 is pretty good in my opinion. I don't think we have any light dragons. I will check, but I don't know. I mean, that is a good card if we have any. Or, like, what can we do with this? Like, is that worth getting out for for no no tuner that we can even summon at four stars? It, 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 maybe the, the the light sworn maiden isn't so good right now, so I might take her out too, honestly, and see if I can put something else in that put ten, even background dragon. I don't see why make a comeback for her. She's level three though, so we can use um we can use the tuner to go into level seven unfortunate as it is we need that so minerva is gonna stay for now uh, let's go back to the net let's go into a duel and see what happens looks like we can actually get the proficiency we're gonna do this really quick before we actually go to the next duel two out of three i mean this is super simple stuff so i say that and then i'm gonna fail which in the following require the number of cards in your deck uh you can have any number of cards as long as you have it must be 60 cards or less. That's okay. That was pretty self-explanatory. Uh, what is the name of this card? Oh, the appointed red lotus. Uh, no, it's the call by. That would be a sick card to get, though, if we were able to pull that. I don't know which one this is, honestly. I know that's kind of crazy. Form to form. Okay. Meld as one. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the electromagnet. Oh man, I didn't get to click, but it's better. It's be beta. Well, I mean, we got it, so. Embarrassing, I didn't get that one, but it is what it is. At least we passed the proficiency test and we got five legacy packs. I think we have one actually. Um, What's on the next one? Oh, easy peasy. All right, well, let's go into a duel. See what happens. I'm, I'm pretty, like, Static that we've been actually not doing too bad in these duels and we have some sort of like recursion and like Actual responses and stuff that we can do to these in these in these games This looks promising as long as they let us go second. That would be nice Please let us go second. We, 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 we want to go second. We don't yeah Yeah, let's do this man All right for our first episode, this has been really good. We drew evenly on our, on our... He's only got three extra decks, so this is actually looking like a good duel already. As long as he's not playing, you know. Vanquish Soul. That would be bummer, but... Yeah, so far... This is looking pretty good. Pretty winnable. Um, You can excavate the top card. Okay, I was going to say, how many can we actually do that to? Okay. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. At least we have a very, very good response to anything that he might potentially do. Hopefully he's bricked so bad that he just can't play anything. It's all trap cards that don't do nothing. All level 7 monsters. Well, hope not, because then we're dealing with cash. But it is what it is. I spicy Fenrir, I'm out. What the hell just happened? Is this self TK? Or what what is this? I've never seen giant Kozuki. Kozuki. If there's no Kozuki to this damage to Okay, we might be up against self TK. Maybe. I mean I'm if that's the case, I'm hitting him with like eighteen hundred right off the rim. I ain't even gonna give him a chance. I'm going for it. But we'll see, we'll see. Right now, uh it's a little too early to tell. Maybe you know. Maybe he misplayed. Who knows? Wow. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, we could send the Great Angus. This is a very good hand. Can this be special summon? No, okay. Um... Well, I do want to summon this guy, honestly. Yeah, because then he can just thin out the deck. I always seem to... <sighs> Whatever, you know. Um, that would be nice. But I I'm going to just go for this. We have a lot of 1800 beaters and stuff in the... And a nice defensive wall and guard. Now, this is such a clutch card to pull. Like, a level 4 with 2600... Like, bring your Dark Magician, buddy. It's not going to do anything. Take 100 damage, idiot. Such a clutch card to pull. I, like, if I didn't record this, people would be like, there's no way you pulled this, all of this, in one, in, in first in your first episode. That's, in, that's not possible. You crafted or cheated. But I got an evenly. I got a fucking evenly. Like, come on. Does it get any better than that? I don't think so. Evenly is such a broken card. Especially going second. They'd summon a bunch of idiots on the on the board. This is self DK. I will help him. I, I will help him 100 percent End your turn. I'll, I'll finish you. Let me finish you. Don't 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 end the game yourself. Let me do it. Please let me do it, buddy. Cause then it's not a self TK, right? I attacked his life points directly. Technically, I beat him. I beat him. There it is. I beat him like he stole my bike. Yeah, uh, we're just gonna... No, no, you know what? We don't want to do that. We just want to win. We're not that kind of kind of duelist that... I hate when they do that to you, you know? Sorry, I hit the mic. I hate when they do that to you. Um, They play all this stuff even though they got the, the victory there. But look at that. We got another master pack. We are at a great start already. Let's go straight to the packs. And we ranked up. I didn't even notice that was a rank up game, honestly. We're at bronze four now. If we do get to silver, what is this? Terrible card, okay. Just absolutely horrible. Some of these cards you get are horrendous, but I will take a man eater bug or something. I, I did get some of the gems that they were that I had on the on the missions here. And I, I probably will like I said, be spending them on um accessories. I'm not gonna be like buying structured packs or nothing like that, but I will be buying at least the 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 wing dragon a raw one i do want to pull from that one if we reach silver and potentially pull in from the dragon kings if we reach gold we have 30 days so we still have some time we're not going to just pull right right off the rip and i will I, let's say this if i pull from one of those packs and i pull some insane cards i won't pull three master packs if i went three duels i'm not going to pull anything you know like if i get a bestial or something that 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 i can use that's really good um it, it's much you know it's worth more than the bestial or, or, or the the master packs you know I'll, I'll i'll literally just win three duels without pulling anything or or opening a pack rather even though opening a pack is so fun okay if your opponent controls a face-up monster with special summon the extra deck and you do not you get special summon this card from the pendulum zone yeah but what does it do okay that's cool but we don't have any pendulums to really tribute with Bonding D2O. Tribute to Deterion. Okay, whatever, buddy. We don't have any of that. You'll send you. Wind Worship. You can... Nope. Summon Great Paro. Okay. If your opponent declares an attack, you can specialize in your hand in attack position. This card's attack becomes... Do I have any more Summon, summon Great? These Salads are so awesome. I love the art style. I, personally, Fire and Pyro are... One of my favorite, like, attributes and archetypes. So I love, like, all the fire stuff that I see. Even the Fire King and Laval and all that. That's how I started, actually. I love playing Laval. So I'm going to put this, regardless, into the deck. I just don't want to put too many of these tributers, you know? Cannot be special summon. It must be normal summon set by tributing three monsters. This card's attack and defense are equal to the number of cards your opponent controls times a thousand. Um... During the main phase, you could destroy this card. If this card is destroyed and sent to the grave, destroy all cards on the field. So this is like a shittier Zeus. Like a way shittier Zeus. And like... But it's not a terrible card. Especially if we can get the the effect to go. Three tributes. This is a god card that is not, you know. It's still really good. Uh, Wind Witch. 
Level 5. I thought it was a level 4. If you control no monsters or all monsters you control are Wind Witch, which we don't have. This is the first one. I think we pulled. You can normal summon this card without tribute. If you control no monsters, though, that's cool. But it's still a normal summon. If it would have said special summon, this would automatically already be in the deck. During your opponent's main phase, if you control a Wind Witch monster other than Wind Witch Blizzard Bell, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Okay, yeah. Uh, Probably not playing that. During the main phase, you can activate immediately after this effect. Okay, no. Time. If this card was special summon by the effect of Metaphys, a Metaphys monster, yeah, that's not happening, buddy. You are 2900, so you're not terrible. Uh, it can make. Also, if it attacks a monster, it can make a second attack in a row. If this card is banished in the semi for next turn, you can shuffle this banished card into a deck special summon. Uh, we don't have anything really for it, so this pack was actually not good except for the peril. But. Maybe the Performa Pal Wim Witch, but well, maybe for the Wim Witch if we can get like some sort of scales going, but I don't think it was honestly that good. We got seven packs. Let's go ahead and open them all. This is, I think, where we're gonna get at least something playable. Like more 1800, 1900, something like that. What the hell is this? A beast. You can trivia this card while Neo Space is in the field and special summon. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't have that. Serial spell. Well, activate only when you activate one of your normal spell cards. Discard all other cards in your hand to the graveyard. What? I don't know if that's honestly something we want to do. Like, we don't have the luxury of being able to just dump our hand like that. Overdrive. I mean, it's a 1600 beater, so it's not terrible. It's a, one of the original cards, too. Oh, I didn't get to see what the spell verification was. Even though I've never seen that card, um, I definitely want to take a look at it. I think I just hit you guys again by accident. I'm sorry if I did. All right. Does this mean that we get an SR? Rockstone Warrior. We're putting him in a deck because he's 1800. You take no battle damage from battles involving this card. That's awesome. When this attacking card destroys a battle and sent to the grave, a special summon two rock tokens. They're only level ones. These tokens cannot be attributed for a tribute summon. That kind of sucks. Cross attack. Target two face-up attack, which is monsters you control with the same attack this turn. One of them can attack your opponent directly, and the other cannot. That's kind of cool. We have worse cards, honestly. The legacy pack so far is coming kind of clutch. Like, we have way worse cards. We might play that. Um, one normal monster except the token. I've never seen this card. It looks cool. It looks like something off a of Spyro or something. During your main phase, you could normal summon one war chat. Okay, we don't have any world chat. I think we actually do, right? In addition to your normal monster monster set you can only gain this effect once per turn at the start of the damage step if this card battles an opponent's monster this card points to you can destroy that opponent's monster but that's kind of cool because this actually can be used like i this is an extra deck monster so i think we can actually play it Cursed armament the equipped monster loses an attack for each monster you control when this card is sent from the field to the grave you can target one phase up monster your opponent controls that's cool. I I'm playing the Cursed Armaments. That sounds awesome. That's like a, a, a shittier version of the of the, the Axe of Demise with Mikanko. Does anybody know what... what uh, Is that like the Utopic guy? Who is that? The guy who does the slash thing on the packs? Okay, you're trash. You're never being played. Ritual of Destruction. You can use Ritual Summon. Okay, we don't have anything like that. It's cool we got a Ritual card, but we don't have the Ritual Monster. On to the next pack. Uh, we can actually we can use this. Yeah, once per turn you can replay one psychic type monster from your graveyard. You gain. It doesn't matter. It's twenty four hundred. We're putting it in the extra deck. Hey, it's a B trooper, and we're playing this one hundred percent. It's sixteen hundred attack, and it's a it's a, you know it's a little four. You can special summon from your hand by banishing one insect monster from your graveyard. You can only special summon an assault roller once per turn this way. It gains two hundred attack for each insect monster you control except this card. When this card destroyed the battle, you can add one B-Trooper. I think we have a B-Trooper, right? Or is that... Was it a Link? I don't remember too well. I'm going to have to go back and check. Ty... Ty Hone? He's a... No, come on. Six star, man. S stay in the pack. Nitro Synchron. If this card is sent to the graveyard for a Synchro Summit of a Nitro Synchro Monster, which we don't have. But, hey, uh, it's something. Um, I wanted to see what this was. That doesn't count for field spells, I'm pretty sure. We might play it. We'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go back to the deck. Uh, edit some stuff out if I have to edit anything. And if I don't, we'll just go straight to the next duel. So we ended up editing a little bit of the deck. Um, I ended up taking out 
stuff that just didn't make any sense, like the exceed removal one. If they'd had nothing, like no no actual material for it, I ended up removing one of the Dark Lord cards. Even though I think I'm gonna regret it, but. I don't know if this is worth playing. I'm going to put it in the deck just in case I can't put three summons and we're able to stall long enough that we're able to bring this guy out. Um, you know, because if they don't, they don't control really any cards or if they control like one card, a thousand damage on a level 10 is a waste. I'd rather honestly have the Dark Lord itself, um, which I cannot seem to find him. This is a good card. This is a two a, a, a two tribute card. This guy right here. 2,600. You can just go to the... But see, I'd have to have him in my hand. Um, You know what? We're going to take him out. We're going to put this guy in. For now, it's not... I, I don't think it's worth it. I, I'm not going to run it just yet. Um, I do like the fact that we have some sort of synergy right now with level 4s and 3s. Are... are, are basic plan is to get a bunch of beaters and get out some of these level sevens um we do have a sort of a world legacy or even the the power code talker uh we do have a spot removal a, a back row removal i mean um we have some sort of beaters i don't think we have any little four darks though I, that that's the one thing that i've been trying to keep my eye out for and it would be nice to have some more I, we do have these two and they are both in the deck but it's about drawing these two cards you know there's 38 other cards that are going to be in my hand we have a couple more cards here i did throw in the two equ the, the equip spell and also the cross attack um they could come in handy we'll see we're going to jump into the next duel all right and we're back um we did win the coin toss so we are going to go second this is a rank up match which doesn't really matter i mean it's the lower rank so they're kind of all rank up matches this is a good hand. I forget what this does. You control no monsters that were special to an extra deck target. Your opponent controls that were special something. I mean, he doesn't really have a extensive extra deck either, but... See, this is cool. But how do we thin out our hand to just have nothing? You know? Right, Rodrigo? What do we do here, buddy? Alright, so... Um, we are going second. I don't know what's going on with our opponent. Okay. I, I didn't know if he was about to, like leave or something okay all right um looks like he's stalling one face down so that's not a bad start uh okay so we're going to okay two face down it's not good you contribute one during one, so you target one in your graveyard, special summon that target. So we don't really have a card we can play. Wouldn't like to commit. Uh, wow, what is this? If it's Labyrinth, I'm leaving. I I'm just saying, I'm leaving automatically. I, I don't think it would be with the five extra deck, but they don't really use an extra deck, if I'm, sh I'm pretty sure. So, okay. What is this? Magic Cats. Magic Cylinder, Mirror Force, and all that. It's a good card. If this card is not okay, you can tribute one Dragon Dragon Duty Monster. Um. Well, what do we do? Do we want to put one face down and then see what happens? Yeah, let's do that. I, I want to play it safe. If they get something out, I don't want to com completely commit. It's still early. I mean, what am I going to do? Just 1,800 damage or 17 and just lose everything really quick? At least with this, I'm able to wait it out just a little bit. Oh, that's a normal monster. You know, I didn't read this and I read one monster. Okay, except a token. So, that's, I think we only have Great Angus. <sighs> okay, well, at least we set this down, right? He's going to attack. He's going to lose life points, though. Okay, boom. Yeah, there you go, idiot. That's what you get. Can he use the effect, or does he not? Is he not able to? Okay, he's not able to. So, do we keep this at a slow pace and just beat him over the head with, like, set up this maybe as a as a as a defensive wall, 
and keep keep going. Let's return during your main phase. You can target one ghost monster you control its attack comes equal to the Yeah, you know what? That's not a bad idea, right? Set this face down. Um, no. What does this effect do? Let, let's see. Change this card to face down position is not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to attack. Because I guess it has to be more than one ghost trick, right? What, what does he have? What could he possibly... Well, I mean, he has four cards. So me saying what does he have is... Uh, a little bit wild itself, huh? Bring a destruction. Okay. Very, very good. I'm glad that we've set this face down. I, I mean, that's a waste of a card. I have a card face down. I can't even attack. He should have saved that for next turn. But this is the lower brackets. This could just be a newer player playing on one of the... You know, start uh, the, the starter decks or whatever. So we can't be too harsh on them, you know. Psych, idiot! Why you use that card? Should have saved it for the next turn. No compassion. We're trying to open packs and move up in ranks. Okay. He tributed. No. What is this? Twenty four hundred. That's kind of wild, honestly. But we have Smashing Ground, so... He is going to destroy our monster, unfortunately. We will thin him out completely of monsters. I'm not too worried about his back row since we did attack. Well, we were going to attack, but... Oh, it does piercing damage. Okay, that has to go. Read your card, guys. Read your card. That, and that's... That's a, that's a powerful card. Strong wind dragon. He's definitely strong. I will say he's definitely strong. Um, we don't have any more dragon annuities, so we are going to smashing ground. I always don't like playing in the same column, so you'll see me do this a lot. Like, it scares me actually. What does this do? If it attacks, it flip piercing damage. No, we're not going to use that. We're just going to go for the attack. He's going to mirror force us or magic cylinder us or threatening roar or anything. What do you have back here? What is this? Okay. He drew one card, so that sucks. That actually sucks really badly. It scares me because now he's going to draw another one. He's got two in his hand. I thought we had thinned him out pretty well, but doesn't look like it um hmm i mean we can keep using our cards to get this guy out that's the problem with this with with gaia uh he has to be the only card so i can normal summon. back to square one though that's really good for it did he just pitch the obelisk he's the best duelist of all time actually because he's going to put this back in our deck and we're drawing it next turn. Um, yeah, I mean, does he have Monster Reborn? If he has Monster Reborn, we're screwed. For some reason, I thought he would like, he was just about to do the ultimate play, like pitch that, get Monster Reborn, and then hit us aside the head with Obelisk and we're done -zo. But that's not, doesn't seem to be the case. Um... Yeah, no, we're gonna go straight for the attack. Let's hope that we can. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm liking so far the state that we're in. I'm not gonna get over ex overly excited because he could draw Regeki or, you know, Swords of Revealing Light until he gets Mirror, uh, uh, not Mirror Force, but Monster Reborn, or he might have it right now, and then it's, you know, a completely downhill battle from here. And I don't think we'd actually be able to out it, but. Let's see. Let's see what happens. You know, right now we uh we're doing too good. We're doing pretty good. Uh, it says you can target one other face up monster if during changes. Then return this card to the hand. 
No, let's see what he does. The Twin-Headed Behemoth. He, this I, I, I used to have this card when I was young. This is such a cool-looking card. Uh, the older art style was so, like... I don't know. It was just, like, darker. Such a cool card, though. Um, I don't know if he's going to do anything with that. Does he have, like, an equip spell? If he has an equip spell or something for it, and then we're definitely going to change it to defense, and then we'll just resummon the, the Fedrin or Fedrin. This is such a cool looking card in itself, though, you have to admit. Okay. We don't want to put that back in our hand. Okay, so we don't have a super heavy samurai, but we don't want to use our tuner either. Do we want to Yeah, because we can we can always uh We can always keep our monster protected by switching their defensive position. Yeah, let's 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 keep it the way it is, right? Even though this was probably not the right summon, um, I I want to get out. We can't get out of ten star. That's the problem, right? And we don't have a normal summon. What the hell does this thing do? But its attack and defense become a thousand. So I guess he's able to draw something and possibly use it for tribute. Right? I mean, regardless, we're going to change the, def the position. Change his battle position and then return this to the hand and keep it keep it like this. I mean, I'd rather... Yeah, see? Um, yeah. We'll do that. And if he crashes, that kind of sucks. If he doesn't, I am summoning the Gaia. No, I don't want to do that actually, because I could just summon this guy. The Earthbound, the Line Walk. Okay, or he can go in fully defense. I can't actually attack over, um, which kind of sucks. So if I can get like a, see, I would need a level four tuner, which I don't have. And I, th th like I said, this card, if it just said I could summon it, but I can't. Why is he in battle if he's in defense? Okay, Rodrigo, we're gonna try to clear this board. I could summon this, right? If it attacks a defense, inflict piercing damage. Um. Well. This is a good card. But this is a good card, too. Okay, so I have an idea. We're gonna... Uh, yeah, we're gonna give it to my man right here, right? And we're just gonna straight slaughter this thing and inflict some damage to him right now. Keep him like... Because I can't do anything with this one right here, so... At the very least, we keep him with an 1,000 attack monster. He can crash into one of ours. Hopefully he doesn't. And then we can summon the Magical Musketeer. Oh, no. He's bringing it back. So we're going to keep on this game state right now. That's Silver Cry, though, on this Divine Dragon is absolutely insane. But if he just... All he has to draw is a red eye. A, a blue eyes, I'm sorry. A blue eyes. And we're now up, you know... Shit's Creek with no paddle. And, like... Our smashing ground is gone, so we don't have removal no more. I guess we can't change it to defense position. Damn. Okay, we're gonna have to at the end of the day, right? Like, like at the end, we have to do this. Like, we're gonna have to change this to defense position, bring this back into our hand. And he's just gonna switch these other two monsters to attack. Hey, we're gonna eat some damage. We're actually... We're in a bad spot right now. He could have done that, though. I guess he's afraid that... We're gonna be doing damage to... We're gonna be doing damage to, to this guy right here, the Dragonute. 
which we're going to. I'm telling you right now, we got to get that out of here. We can't let that resolve whatsoever. Can't let it come back to attack position. I mean, hmm. I wish we had a way to be able to special summon. Wind Beast and special summon. Do we have anything here? I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't. Okay. It's no point. Um, Our hand is getting cluttered right now. This is why I don't want too many of these monsters that... <sighs> that would have been great to have, right? The only thing we can do is summon this. Um... And destroy his, tw his 2,000 beta right now. This is the only thing that's going to keep us alive, but... It's also got us right now in a very bad position. Like I said, all he has to do is draw the blue eyes. Which he p potentially will before we even get to summon another monster. The best case scenario is he puts both of these to defense mode. And then I can bring out the magic magical musketeer. And we can just destroy them both. Like, if he gives us one more turn, we're okay. I'm not saying we're, we've won... That's scary, especially in the position we're in. Um, yeah. I wish we had that other super heavy samurai. I probably should have set this idiot, honestly, but... Because then we would have had... 500 attack and defense. It would have been 1,500. He can't be destroyed by battle. You can special summon this card. Okay, see, that's really cool. Like... You gotta admit, the, the Super Heavy Samurai archetype is so, so sick. Like, I didn't see the, the series with it, so I don't I don't really know too much about them other than what they did in the TCG. No, we're not gonna activate that. But they look cool. I wanna build a deck. Oh, wow. That's really awesome, actually. We can actually bring this... No! Okay, so our best bet would be to wait. Because we can always... Oh, we can't attack. The threatening roar is just such a bummer. Such a such a bummer. Like... I hope he has nothing, like, not a monster that he can tribute, because if he does tribute both these monsters right now, it'd probably make me cry how how well-established we are. We, we're, we're literally a turn and a half away, because his turn and... Yeah, we're, we're... Oh, no. Okay, we're not we're not 100% down, as long as he puts it on this guy. Whichever guy he puts it on, I'm 100%... Um, yeah, because he already equipped it to it, right? So we're changing its battle position right now. And this way, he can't do anything. Can he switch it back to it? No, he can't. He can't because it's, it's it's already set. So it would be nice if he scooped. He can. How the hell? Oh, we should have waited till the, uh... We should have waited. Oh, that, that was a misplay. At least now we know, like... Because I you usually don't run these type of decks when you're, you know, playing, like, more meta-centric decks, so... It's only till, you know, the end of this turn, and then next turn I am gonna completely destroy one of these cards. So, he has nothing other than to end his turn. I'm, I'm hitting him with... You know, at least over a thousand da damage, I'm pretty sure. Because it's for each monster you control? Oh, so it's only 600. Okay, now. Oh, wow. How does this work? You can send a monster from your hand check and target one piece of monster you control the same level. It says, when you take battle damage, you can special summon this card from the hand. 
That's a crazy card, honestly, to draw. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna curse armaments him right now, just for the payback. Like, you know, buddy, you you just made me mad, so we're definitely hitting you with something. Yes, you can target and equip it with this card. So we'll keep this going for now. At least you know this is this is a fantastic card. You have to admit, like his card is just down to nothing, and uh, I know he feels it. Especially now that we have Tragodia, or I don't know how you pronounce this. That's what it looks like to me. Um, so we actually can out the blue eyes. Incredible for each card in my hand. So. Next turn, I mean, it would be up to 3,000. Oh, no, not the Luster Dragon. Okay, we're going to wait till he goes into battle phase. That's crazy, though. We are definitely going to change that to defense, and then I'm going to piercing damage him. I don't want to summon the Tragodia, honestly, because it's battle, right? Yeah. He can't switch it to attack, right? Is that is, or am I am I interpreting the way this card plays wrong? Like, doesn't that end the attack? So this thing does Luster Dragon. I saw I saw Lord Tran have trouble with his nemesis here. Now it looks like he's mine too. Okay, this card can this card returns to the owner's hand after. Okay, we don't want to do that. We actually just want to summon and do some piercing damage to it. Honestly, well, we could actually destroy the other one, and then yeah, that's actually I think the play. Um, but, I mean, we might as well get rid of it now, rather than have it on the field. Like, I don't even want to take the chance that it potentially does something to us. Wow, this Cursed Armaments card is so clutch. I, I can't believe we even drew it. Like, please just don't have any other monster. No Luster Dragons, nothing. Like, no Stone of... Like, nothing, please. Just let us actually win. We're so close to being able to pull this victory. All right, Rodrigo, what do you have? And when I say what do you have, I mean, like, please don't have nothing, you know? We're on turn 21. This is crazy. This is a good duel, though. Okay, so that's going to go to 1,100, but it can't really do anything. No, I, we're not afraid of that, honestly. Does he want to crash into our card? Because this says you can, right? He's going to crash. Is that what he's doing? So he sent so he's gonna try to get rid of this this card and Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's gonna crash, get rid of this card, and then we don't have any way to recurse it back into the You know what? I don't wanna actually I'd rather lose that card because he I don't this back row does nothing. I don't think it's anything. So yeah, I think that would be it, right? Like this this fed ran or whatever this, the, 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 this card right here just clutch just the entire duel and it's such a powerful card incredible honestly okay he might actually have something with this card since he didn't just end this turn is that a monster reborn Mind okay so it's nothing i think it's over right guys i think I think it is. Um, I am going to get our biggest beater on here, but I think our Fedren deserves the, the, the actual win of the duel, so I'm going to let him get the last attack. And there it is, guys. There it is. We absolutely clutched that duel with just the limited amount of cards we have in our deck. It, you know, and rank up. We are bronze three now. Bronze three. Oh, no legacy packs, but I mean... It would have been worth it. Let's see what he was playing. I think it was a a, a starter deck.
he did have the blue eyes. He just never drew it. He must have had just all this other stuff, but this stuff down here would have been scary. 100%. Although we had the Trigodia, so we would have been okay. Well, I think we're going to open one last pack, and I think we're going to call it for, for today. But I think we, I, wanna, I want us to open the pack and see what at least we get, so... Let's go ahead and get the opening this pack. All right. Volcanic Blaster. Volcanic Monster from your deck to the top of your deck. Okay, I don't think that's going to be useful. The Sacred Lands is more. Oh, Winged Beast Monster in the field game. Okay, that's a field spell we can actually use because we have a lot of Winged Beast. And then you can you only use the following effects on for turn. You can reveal all five Wind Monster from your hand. This can... This turn you can normal summon for one less tribute, even if it leaves the field. If you control any monster, you can immediately after its effect resolve normal summon. That's a good card because we have a lot of recursion with that. Uh, we don't have any sulfur cord, so that's not good. Um, Magic key, we don't have any of that. Phantom Knight Sword. After this, by targeting one face of monster field, it gains 800 attack. Also, with that target, we destroy a battle card effect. You can destroy this card instead. When at least you can destroy a card. Oh wow, that's an equipped card. Equipped card we're gonna use. Pay five minutes to target with one lower steel swarm. No, that's not good. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except beast, beast warrior, and wing beast. You can send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard and add one tribe brigade, which we don't have. So another card we can't use and emr tribute one machine monster to target one card and field for every 1000 original attack of that tribute monster destroy those cards so the only good card we got well two good cards were the phantom knight sword and the sacred lands of smorg well i'm gonna check the deck really quick i want to see what we have in terms of winged beast i'm pretty sure i saw we had quite a few um winged beast because we might play that and i actually lied right winged beast maybe, maybe i'm just tripping actually i think i have to see it like this yeah i'm tripping so we play one we play one so yeah we don't have as many all wind winged beast too it can't just be like wind I mean, like a uh, winged beast, but with like this type of attribute, which ah, now this card sucks. So that idiot's not going in the deck. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm almost tempted to run 41 cards. I'm not even going to lie to you. Yeah, we'll do it. Fuck it. All right. Well, we're going to leave it to like this until the next episode. I hope you guys like the content. I hope you guys uh enjoy the first episode we did have some crazy pulls some crazy duels and we actually had some really good back and forth interaction like the video subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace